what's up guys so welcome back to the second episode of this is my ride so i just want to say a special thanks to everyone who supported me this far so before we get this episode started um please do subscribe if you haven't like and comment on this video so without further ado let's get into this episode so i'm going to start it off with some cinematics enjoy the back it's a beautiful Corolla RXI so this is the old spec RXI so as you can see over here I'm gonna take you through the car now I'm gonna ask the owner a few questions so yeah I'm here with the owner his name is Clyde How's Welcome. Man? thanks bro thanks for featuring so, me here man appreciate yeah, thanks, it man. <laughs> thanks to you so first of all tell us about um, why you bought the car Actually, the reason why is because I'm a toy lover uh, I had one for quite some time, I had one from 2018, basically a 39, it looked like a 20 valve look alike. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the reason why I went for this is because it has more power and that's what it was after, just to get a bit more power out of something that looks nice as well. Okay, so this is not just any RXI, it's not just a 20 valve, so I'm going to let the owner do the, sp the speaking about what's in here actually. So, so you can just let us know what motor is in here. Basically it's a, it's a sleeper. I uh, yeah. don't actually want everybody to know, but it's a single beams, red top, uh, yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> Got a, a couple of things on it, but not really major mods, you know, the yeah. normal Cape Town stock. Uh, uh, called the induction, and then I got a 63 mil exhaust on, with a 76 exit, and that's basically it. So this is what makes this car <laughs> different from any ordinary 20 valve yeah. RXI. It's look as so, a yeah. cleanest build, man, but um, yeah, for what it is, it's, it's decent, it's decent. I try to keep my hand on it. It's obviously a lot of work it has to go into the car and yeah. stuff like that because obviously it's a high maintenance motor and all that type of things, but I try to keep my hand on it. It doesn't look the cleanest, but it performs and it does what it needs. Like I mentioned, I'm not sure if uh, you mentioned earlier, uh, it's also a daily driver. Um, I actually detuned the car when I went for the tune because I didn't want to use so much fuel. So, yeah. it's a daily driver. I drive from work home every single day. I go fetch my child and stuff like that. So, it's a daily driver. It's, it's detuned. Yeah. detuned, but it still has its power. I think this, this motor is the red top. It makes around 149 kilowatts. Eh? Initial tune when I had it was 144 kilowatts, mm. 240 something, which is meant to be meters of torque. Yeah. And then I detuned to 125 kilowatts and 200 newton meters of torque. And like you said, it has a bit of spice. <laughs> but still you can't still mention. Spice, yeah. <laughs> can't still, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe take us through what's been done in the engine bay. Yo, I can see there much. is it's a bit quite dirty, some man. stuff. It's, yeah. a bit like dirty, it's <laughs> functional. So the only thing I yeah. did was, like I said, the poly mounts. I did poly mounts all around, back, front, so sides. It's a bit of a stable, launch, stable, no? stable yeah. launch, yeah. Either falter on there as well. Um, and that's basically it. And then obviously just there you can see this has been chromed up. All these yeah. parts here, like the stabilizer bar, this has been chromed up and the tappet, not the tappet cover, the, the throttle body intake has been um, also chromed, chromed up, just up, to give yeah. it a bit of a different look as well. Okay, I see that you have now the, the plenum, the induction um, and the normal intake manifold. Yeah. So in future do you plan like maybe on going throttles? Yo, as I, said, as I said, it's a daily driver and no yeah. throttles comes with a lot of petrol, so <laughs> I don't smoke for that really, so basically I'm going to keep it stock, like I said, daily driver, um, I'm going to keep it like that basically, maybe one day if I get my 1300 on the road, hundreds again, and maybe I do yeah. a, a motor swap, put this in the 1300 and put the 20 valve back into this car again, something to that effect. But the thing um, with the throttles, it's, it depends on how you drive also, man, so if you're going to drive like hard every day, it's obviously going to use a lot of fuel. But if you drive like obviously slow, I mean, yeah, obviously it, 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 that does make a difference. But yeah. me as a person, I tend to have a heavy foot at times, so people know me for that already. Because <laughs> a lot of the people that know me, the, that I'm a very uh, uh, speed enthusiast, basically. Yeah. So I like going fast and driving fast and stuff like that. But now, nah, like I said, throttles. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll keep it that way for now. <laughs> and and another thing of this um, induction, I noticed there's no stack on, and the people with the beams, they love they love this stack. Bring it out by the bumper. That's correct, yeah. So this makes it uh, like a 
Heavy sleep. Correct, correct. So what I, I had a stack on, but I didn't let the stack come out of the bump because yeah. that's obviously not common and people see it <laughs> and they're like, oh, the man dies, are you for now or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I left the stack, the stack was actually on the inside where the fault is currently now. Okay. Um, and then I took it off because it was too loud. It was way too loud because I mean, they drive normally, you put your foot down and it screams, it screams. So I was like, nah, I'd rather not put the filter back on. And also just to be safe, man, as well, because I mean, yeah. with the stack on, you don't put anything in the front. I didn't put a sif or anything on, and you can suck up any leaves or any dirt and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, just yeah. to be safe, put the filter back. It usually is like, Rasses, no? rasses, no? It comes out uh, by the bump. Uh, nah, it's too loud, it's too loud. I don't need <laughs> that in my life. Like I said, it's a family, like I have a family yeah. and stuff. Don't want to have that, all that attention on me now just to have, because I have a stack in the car and stuff like that. Okay, so maybe you can just like take us around the car and like um, tell us what you actually done exterior wise. Exterior wise, all I did was uh, lower the car, but uh, as you can yeah, see, as you can see, dry, right? Yeah. Uh, there's sleeve overs in I actually didn't want to opt for it, but uh, yeah, I wanted the lows. Yeah. Uh, what sleeve I was in, it's now currently sitting at 40 millimeters, should I say. Um, I added then, the front was a different front. I actually um, had the black diamond crystals in, I changed it to crystals. Okay, just uh, also added extra was just the lip that I added on as well. Um, it's an STI lip, I didn't want to go for the stock 20 valve as well. Yeah. Um, so I put the STI lip, obviously it didn't fit, so I had to cut the corners off just to make it fit, but it looks like it came from the car basically. And the thing with this lip, Without this lip actually makes the car look full in front. Basically. So without this lip, the car basically looks like a high look. Although the car is lowered. So we're just going to come here around the back of the car now. Um, so the owner is going to give a brief description of what he's done at the back. Um, so as you can see, you look at what the lights looks like. It's not your average um, to a 20 valve because you'll normally see the clear at the bottom. I went for the smoke look. Basically yeah. it's a gloss, gloss enamel tin spray that I went for. So you can see as there on the fin as well, same thing. Also smoked with a bit of uh, enamel spray, it was taken out and sprayed. So yeah guys, um, a lot of the people think that this actually is the same like the RSI, the old spec RSI. But there is quite some differences. So we're just going to take you through what actually makes this one special from the, the normal RSI old spec. Yeah. Key differences people don't really notice is that the beading is completely different from the RSI's. The RSI's has a bit of a wider beading, yeah. it stands out a bit more. With the light spec uh, RSI's, you have the thinner beading and it's all color coded. That's That brings it out also. So, the usual old spec, there is like the black by the bumper. Yeah. So this over here is black and then... The beading is also black, as you can see, and this this beading actually so comes a new spec as well, the crystal light. Correct. So that is also the difference, and then as well as yeah, at the front, as you can see, it's fully color coded. So a lot of the time, the people think that these cars actually get sprayed fully color coded, but but it actually isn't. Yeah. Other differences that people also don't notice: uh, RXI, RSI. You see in the RX eyes, you have the little thin logo here. Yeah. Uh, for 20 valve, and the other ones, it's a bit of a rounder, rounder gel. Okay, so we touched on the exterior and like what has been done outside, um, body wise, lights wise. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take a tour, about, tour in the inside now. So I'm just gonna ask the owner what he actually done inside. I can see he's still quite stock, but it looks extremely nice still. <laughs> so we're gonna go inside the car now. So yeah. Okay. Not much done inside the car. Uh, the seats was redone, but I obviously got the car like that when I bought it initially two years ago. Um, the only thing I added in the inside was basically a doubled in front loader in the middle and I put the little bezel back for where the radio originally goes. Mm. Um, otherwise, nothing else done to the inside. It's exactly the same like it was when it came yeah. out of the factory. I mean, it's originally... What I like about the dash, it's very basic, but it's also... It's a nice dash, man. Functional. It's functional. Mm. The same with the steering wheel. It reminds me a lot of the the um the Supra. Yeah, it's right. very similar to that's the Supra right. and the Celica. Yeah, that's right. What I love about this clocks, it's that 9,000 RPM. Yep. People don't get that. Yeah. Like, why you have nine? <laughs> why do you have nine? <laughs> Although the car rest of about 8.2 it's capable of running into the nines with just Correct. a bit of work a bit of work but obviously valve it's need kit, the valve kit, rev kit, yeah. cams <laughs> but you know how expensive that stuff is so I'd rather not speak about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we have all that now the way I just wanted to ask you um, what future plans do you have for the car? I actually changed my tyre size to 175.50s just mm. to get a little bit of, bit of a low 
and then I want to change over to coilovers as well, just yeah. to get the more lowness and more stiffness, and I can also do the rebounding and all those type of things, damper adjustment. But it's obviously going to come with a price because you know the normal coilovers you buy is not going to give you the same thing. It has to be either yeah. ISC or PCs. Or PCs well, that's or that's like 13, 20, 13 to 20,000. Yeah. You're going to pay for that stuff. And that's basically my future plans. I want to keep the car OEM because OEM is what I like. You understand? And it attracts less attention from that's the cops. That's also true, yeah. And that's how I'll just keep it that way. So that's the end of this feature. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I just want to say a special thanks to the owner Clyde. Shot by thanks him and thanks to you I also. Not a problem, bro. Not a problem. So guys, so if you have a car that you'd like to feature, you can just um hit me up on Instagram on Vad Productions or on my Facebook page at Virtual Automotive Designs. I'll leave the description or the link in my description. I do however do like cinematic videos and photo shoots, club dino days. Um, club events, um, car clubs and stuff, yeah. And don't forget to subscribe <laughs> if you want to see more content like this. Yeah.